know our health is important. So why is it so difficult to stick with positive health habits? I'm Pamela Henry, and this week in our Becoming Your Best Self series, we're going to be talking about the Success Choice Planner focus this month, which is Be Healthy. To read from the planner, it says, health is the foundation and likely an assumed prerequisite for realizing your dreams. Let's say, for example, that you have the goal to do some traveling. You are assuming that you're going to have the health necessary to be able to make that trip. Or let's say that you want to paint your house or start a business or write a book. Again, you are assuming that you're going to have the energy and the health necessary to do the tasks that lead to that goal accomplishment. I do understand that sometimes we have, have health challenges and concerns that are outside of our control. This past year, year and a half, I've had two foot surgeries and a heart surgery, and so my activity has been more limited. When we have something that's outside of our control, what we can do is adjust our mindset and choose to focus where we do have control. We really do owe it to ourselves to do everything in our power to maintain and improve our health because our health really does affect every area of our lives. So since we know that our health is important, again, why is it so difficult to stick with our new health goals? Again, to read from the planner, it says, health is easy to neglect because you don't instantly see the effects of bad habits. It's human nature to take the course of least resistance. And so it may be easier to just eat some junk food or fast food, just something quick and easy, instead of taking the time to plan and prepare a healthy meal. And it may be easier to sit on the couch and watch TV when you're tired instead of going out and exercising. So the path of least resistance and negative bad habits are one reason that we have a hard time sticking with our health goals. A second is because the opposite is true where we don't instantly see the positive effects of new health habits. So when we start eating healthier and exercising more, we aren't instantly fit and healthy. It may take some time before we see the benefits of these new changes. So we may get discouraged and then slip back into our older, easier habits. The key is to look down the road and see the effects 10, 20, 30 years from now of your actions, whether your positive actions or your negative actions. And really awareness is the first key, the first step. It's foundational to change. So this week I challenge you to notice and pay attention to your current health habits. Give yourself credit for the positive health habits that you already have and notice where you might want to change and maybe start noticing some of the negative health habits that, or the negative effects that you may be having. Maybe you don't feel as good, you're more tired. What are the negative um, consequences that you're already facing so that you can start to notice where you might want to change. If you like this video, please like it and share it and comment. Let us know what health challenges you may be facing or goals that you may have. Again, this is Pamela Henry inviting you to live your life on purpose, with purpose, choosing joy in the journey today. Have a wonderful day.